Well, let's see if the old fire truck will start up. I did disconnect the batteries just to be safe. No sparking. It does have a battery disconnect switch, but I haven't looked real closely to see if that truly disconnects everything. But that switch is off right now. A little bit of rust in there. We'll do a full overview of this thing at some point, but not right this minute. All right, let's see. I mean, I'm gonna set up the uh, other camera over on the exhaust so we can get the so much smoke it blows out. About 60 degrees right now and it hasn't run about five days. So we'll see if it'll crank up. Got a little lizard in there. And this cab is shot. Well, like I said, I'll show you around a little more, but I don't know if there's any saving this thing. Well, a little Mr. Red Wasp. Wasp is no longer a threat. All right. Well, maybe he is. Uh, now he's no longer a threat. I'm sure there's a nest probably under the dash. All right, so let's uh, start this thing up. The ignition switch that was out of it when I bought it. It was right here. And it looks like they were trying to get into it. They had lost the key. And so all the wires were disconnected. So I don't know what's what. And uh, I did test a few of them out and I've got just enough hooked up to it uh, to start it. And then we'll have to figure out the rest of it. So. Uh, this oil pressure gauge sticks. Um, I don't know if it's mechanical or electrical. And uh, some of my gauges were cutting in and out like temp when I was driving it. And so I don't know if I've, maybe there are electrical and uh, one of my wires came unplugged at the same da dangling down here, I don't know. But let's crank it up. So, uh, emergency stop is in, engine stop is in, we're going to throw it in park, no air pressure in it, in the system, throw the key in it, put on the clutch, uh, gas pedal is laying somewhere right there, because it a hole in the floor where the gas pedal is supposed to mount but we got this thing and let's see if it cranks up i don't know how charged the batteries are we ran lights all the way home it was like an hour and a half drive and so i don't know and i'm gonna almost need both hands i'm gonna put y'all right here I got nothing. Did uh, did my ignition wire come undone? Oh, I got nothing because let me flip this master disconnect on. There. There's old jaw here. Come on.
red light is, but it lit up for a split second when it started up. Lots of diesel smell. We're going to have to let the uh, air come up. I've got the intake tube off of it. And the reason I did that was uh, when I was cranking it, I wanted to be able to like I said, I've got emergency stop that does work, the flapper, but uh, I had also, there was a license plate sitting here, and that would fit perfectly over the air cleaner hole if it did run away to cut off air to it. And so I just, I haven't put that back on it. Just wanted to make sure we were in good shape before I did. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit build up some air pressure so we can take the parking brake off and then I'm going to move it over to my driveway and then uh, maybe five times today I'll do an overview video for kind of a we'll take a closer look at this thing and I'll uh, show you the good the bad and ugly See if we can get it uh, pump it up a little faster.
look right there, um, what you've got right there is the quick release valve for the front brakes. And I think I fixed my front brakes hanging up. In that hole there, there was a mud dauber had built a nest or whatever, and it was completely full of mud, like, a, you know, a mud dauber nest. And so I, I broke that out, and I think that was keeping, so what happens is when you put, put your foot to the front brakes, uh, you know, air goes to the uh, brake chambers on the front. You can see them through there. When you let your foot off the brake, um, that quick release valve exhaust the air through that hole that I showed you. And with that being um, full of, you know, a mud dauber nest, I think it was it was probably letting some pressure off, but not all the pressure off. And since I cleaned out that hole, um, I haven't I used it, I haven't driven it on the road, but they were hanging up really bad just on my driveway, and I can't get them to to lock up now. You know they're they're free, so I think that fixed my front brake issue. So we can check one more thing off the list on what we need to do to this thing. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.